Hey guys, okay, so I just want to take a second today and talk about the importance. Like, is it important to tell your story? And if so, how long do you keep telling the same story for? When is it time to really let go of your past and let go of your old stories so that you can start something new and fresh? When does that happen? I've been experiencing a lot of that lately, like a lot. And this thought came to me because telling stories are very healing. That's why I do this channel. I feel like when I'm able to speak my truth, I heal from it somehow. I don't know how that happens. Maybe it's the truth and the rawness in this story. When you get it out, it's like this weight is lifted, lifted off your shoulders, off of your body. That's how it's been for me anyways. But now I've come to a point where when is it enough? So for me, my story has been... I just saw 111. 111 is new beginnings, so I'm glad I'm doing this vlog because for me, my past with being a single mom, being a widow, and then also going through a lot of loneliness, and I kind of did it to myself because, well, I had spiritual growth. I had to grow from it, right? Whatever the reasons were, it doesn't matter right now. But the thing is, like, I started thinking, when do I let that story go of being a widow, being a single mom? My son is now 16. All the loneliness that I had to experience. And you know, here's what I think. There's something on my face. Oh, it's just hair. Um, and here's what, here's the conclusion that I've come to. I felt like I needed to start letting go of my past when I started meeting new people and having fun with them and vibing with them, I began to let go of the energy of holding on to all the pain that I was carrying. And, and I, I could feel myself literally stepping into this new life and I could feel myself enjoying it. And it was the first time that I enjoyed um, even a relationship without feeling guilt from my past. So what do I mean by that? What I realized, and I didn't even know that I was doing this, and maybe some of you may be doing this, when we hold on to something or we hold on to a past relationship, for me, I was a widow, I was married to him for very, my first boyfriend, all of that, okay? When you hold on to love like that, where it becomes painful, you put yourself through a extreme suffering process. My suffering lasted like 13, 14 years, and it doesn't have to be like that. But I had to go through it because my spiritual growth happened from the suffering. And now I understand that. As I look back now as an observer in my life, because I'm balanced with it, I can see how it took me so many years because there was so much spiritual evolution and growth to happen within, within that. But as I was, for the, so even the relationships that I've had, which isn't very many in the last like 12, 13 years, I knew even going into the relationships, I never took them seriously. I just knew that I, whatever, like I wasn't really into them and it was just kind of, they fell into my lap. I never went out looking for anything. So I just kind of allowed the energy of this, of the, my past relationships to happen. But the one I was in recently changed me. That one was where I, because in the past I would feel a little bit of guilt. I think that's why there was resistance, like mm, whatever, I'm doing this, I know it's not gonna go anywhere. But in my past one, I actually had so much fun and there was so much growth myself because I started asking myself, what am I gonna learn from this relationship? There's always a learning something. And I expanded my feminine self. I learned to be more yin, more feminine energy. And you know, I had fun doing it. I grew because of that relationship. And it was the first time 
ever I started thinking about a future. Like, could I have my future here? Like, and I never thought long term. And that's what brought, brought me to this vlog. It's when do you begin to let go of your story so that the energy doesn't become stale and, and stay on you in a low vibration? When do you let it go? And the answer is when you have balance. I, you can't be like, you know, you can't be like, let's just go back to relationships. If you're, even if you're stuck on an old boyfriend or girlfriend, you'll take that energy into a new relationship and that person will continue. It's like playing tug of war with your heart, right? They're going to continue. They're not even there anymore, but you're going to give them the power your thoughts are gonna give that person the power to play, push, pull you back every time. So when you're trying to move forward with this new person, that energetic tug of force begins to happen. And this even happens, I'm not talking relationships, but even family, you know, you can't move forward if you're still thinking. There's, imagine from your heart, there's like, and this actually is a thing, there is a thread that you attach yourself to to people that you continue to be attached to, your thoughts are attached to. So they start playing this tug of war, right? So you move back, you wanna move forward, but your thoughts don't allow it. That person, you, gets tugged back. But that halts and comes to a complete stop in vibration when you, it kind of, it's like cutting those energy cords, but you don't do it in haste, you don't do it in anger, you don't do it in resentment. When you are able to do it in like peace, you don't even have to do it in love if you don't want to, but if when you're ready and you peacefully, just for me, it was just sending my husband so much love and being able to like just communicate with him a little bit, thoughts, like being at that higher vibration, I found this next relationship which taught me so much and for the first time in my life I could see a future like I could actually see my own future and evolving with another person whereas I always I always thought before this I always thought oh it's okay my son's gonna go to school and then you know I'll I'm gonna be alone and I was actually content and fine with it and I still am if that's the way my life is gonna go so the answer to the question is yeah your stories expire if you don't allow if you don't let them go in love harmony and peace and come to balance, then you can never move forward your next step in life without that pullback like constantly happening. And it happens without you even knowing, right? So yeah, the answer to it is, it is absolutely essential to let go of the stories when you're ready and to know that it is impossible to let go of the story, the energetic vibration of the story within you until you come to balance with it. That's the key to this universe. That is the key to everything. Like I talk about numerology, your the spiritual numbers. You have to come to balance because life is like a pendulum. It's going to spin, it's going to go to the, not spin, it's going to go to the negative, then it'll go to the positive, like it's always going to go back and forth, but it's not until you get in yourself into alignment, into a balance, that the pendulum will give you the answers of where you're going to go next. That's when the universe will bring you the next person you need into your life, whether it's you need them for business, you need them as a mentor, whatever it may be. It's not until you allow that pendulum that goes back and forth and that pendulum is your thoughts and your thoughts are your past. If you're living too far into your past, you're always going to be negative, positive, negative, mainly past. If you're thinking in the past or the future, usually more negative than positive. We usually come out of more fear than positivity. So just know that if you're living more in the past or future, you're probably balancing more on the negative side. So you need to come to the balance. And that's the part where you give gratitude, appreciation, love, and you bring the pendulum to the middle. Love you guys.